<sighs> it all makes sense. Fisk becomes the kingpin by eliminating all his rivals with his anti-crime task force. The public thanks him for it. He writes a few big checks and everyone looks the other way. But it's not just the task force. I've been taking his enemies down too. And the one who's been pointing me toward them is Craven. I can't let him get away with this. I need to know more inside information on Fisk. And I've got an old friend who can get it. Fail! <laughs> I can't wait to read the whole thing. Not sure what I was aiming at there. I heard spider bugs <laughs> from the future. Harry probably knows more about Fisk than anyone. <laughs> Better make myself presentable. Wow. Everyone knows Fisk is crooked. But you're saying he's actually setting himself up as the top crime boss in New York? That's what I've been hearing. I'm, uh, working with Whitney Chang on a story, and she needs proof. You're closer to Fisk than anyone I know. Not really. He, he keeps his business private. But, as an investor, I do have access to the task force's financial records. Oh. Okay. One of the addresses you gave me came up. Large payments to a security consultant. Fisk handles all the personnel decisions. He's the one who hired this Kravenoff guy. But he cooked the books. So technically, Oscorp's paying him. He's trying to throw me under the bus. Join the club. You okay? Yeah. It's just... I trusted someone I shouldn't have. And I probably should have seen it, but... After losing my dad and Uncle Ben, I guess I wanted to believe. You wanted a father figure. I know what that's like. My dad shut me out of his life to focus on saving his own. And all he ended up leaving me was the disease that killed him. Harry, I'm sorry. What is it? It's genetic. Very rare. Degenerative. My father extended his life by spending a fortune while he looked for a cure. I don't have that kind of time. There's gotta be some hope. Gene therapy. That's what all my dad's research was about. Is that why Norman started the cross-species experiments? Yeah. He thought he could give himself the resistance some animals have to conditions like this. But the closest he ever got was the work he did on spiders with your father. But Dad disappeared. And his work went with him. Your task force. Their body armor has medical applications. Can it help at all? It's not a cure. But it can give mobility to people who can't get around on their own. The task force has helped me improve on it. And protect my research from criminals who'd steal it. But it was a mistake to work with Fisk. He, uh, he knows you're sick? He figured it out. And now he's waiting for me to die so he can take Oscorp for himself. Listen, Pete. Take it from a guy who knows. When the people you trust turn their back on you, it's just proof you have to handle your problems yourself. But sometimes, you still need help. Harry, I'll do whatever I can for you. Just tell me what- Spider-Man. No one knows for sure how he got his powers. But he looks to me 
Like the only successful, healthy example of cross-species genetics out there. You take pictures of him. You must have some way of reaching him. Well, uh... Peter, I need Spider-Man's blood. Just what I want. That bomb, I bet I'll sense it. Ah, poor Harry. I want to help him, but without the proper testing, my blood could actually make things worse. <sighs> Gotta move faster. Thank me all at once. Experts now say the bomb was booby-trapped. Spider-Man not only saved the lives of civilians, but also the bomb squad. If my blood could cure Harry, I'd give it to him in a heartbeat. But it'll take time and lots of research to find out. He's in no mood to wait. I feel like who holy. knows how many people can have hurt. Many of the petty criminals apprehended by Spider-Man turned out to be wanted on far more serious charges. Seatbelts! I gotta 
have to find another way. this off long enough. Gotta catch up to Harry and talk to him. You came. Thank you. I'll pay whatever you want. Mr. Osborne, wait. I've checked with scientists familiar with gene therapy, and I can't give you my blood. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? I'll die without it. Not right away. There's still time for more research. Every other cross-species subject has turned into a monster. I don't know why it's different from me. I'm, I'm looking into it, I've but... paid the top minds in the field to look into it. A fortune! They don't have the answers. I'm willing to take the chance. It's not just about you. The lizard, the other cross-species, they hurt people. Get out. Kill people! Just get out. I can't give you my blood until I, I know right. it's safe. I can't I trust promise. anyone. I'll find out... I'm on my own. Mr. Osborne, I... No, 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 just... just go. Harry... ...really at the end of his rope. I should have noticed a long time ago, but I was busy being played for a fool by Craven. I can't believe I fell for his act. Why would he teach me his hunting techniques if he was going to betray me? I guess that's one of the things I'll have to ask him. Craven! Time for a little mentor-mentee chat. Now discuss our mutual goals. Map out a five-year plan. Explain why you're working for a human jello mold. Looks empty. Maybe I can still find some answers. Craven must know I'm after him. He left and took most of his stuff. But he didn't have time to get it all. He was gonna kill me and stuff me like a trophy. All this time he's been studying me, testing me, figuring out my strengths, and how to beat them. And how best to set a trap. You're a fake, a coward. This is your idea of a fair hunt? Oh no. It's only the prelude. <laughs> the antidote I gave you should remove all effects of the tranquilizer. I want you at the peak of your abilities. Stop acting like you're King Arthur. All that talk about honor. You lied to me, you betrayed me for the kingpin and his money. That was incidental. I did not betray you. I truly taught you all I knew. Not just so you eliminate the kingpin's rivals, but to make you the worthiest possible opponent. The foe I knew you would be. My greatest hunt. Now you are ready. And now we will see who is the hunter and who is the prey. So you used me to take out the Kingpin's rivals. What about Cassidy? I noticed you jumped in to stop him talking to me. Cassidy was useful. 
for a time. He saw the fear and mistrust, but he is little more than a beast. It was inevitable he would have to be removed. Always one step behind. It's in the trees. Before he springs a trap. You've been a poor sport. You wanted me to watch Cassidy kill that kid. Why? So I'd kill him? So I'd feel guilty? Just because you're a sick freak? It was a test. To see how strong you could be. You could stomach this spilling of blood. I admit, you disappointed me. You learn that your own senses betray you. You grasp at shadows. I'm still waiting for an explanation for your mustache. Impossible. I studied you. You are not capable of this kind of fury. You lack a killer instinct. Are you deliberately moving really slowly? Is this like some sort of mock? I made you flail around like a drunken sailor. You fight, go! Come get me, boy! True! I get as angry as you do. I want to hurt my enemies just as much. The difference is, I know it's wrong. <sighs> Bad guy things like hey! It'll be hard to spot him in those trees, but I have to try. There is no escape. You have learned my come get me, fool. I'm right here. One time I fought somebody who was a real loser, and they were still better than you. Always one step behind. Ambush me from the trees. I can smell your fear. I'll come right out with some cold water. It's so weird. To the death! No! That's your way. On my watch, no one dies. <laughs> I took a few too many shots that time. I beg you, kill me. Give me death over defeat. You're saying death isn't defeat? You planning on coming back as a craven zombie or something? Anyway, I won. That means I call the shots. What are your terms? You're a few episodes short of a season, Craven, but you've always had your own loony code of honor. So you're gonna tell me how to get to the kingpin. The truth. Everything you know. Very well. You have won that right. Ask. And I shall answer. I ran into someone who says Kingpin gets test subjects at Ravencroft. How? The institution has lost all government funding. It now relies upon private donors, of which Fisk is the largest, now that Norman Osborne is dead. And they just let him experiment on inmates like some kind of Dr. Chubbenstein? <laughs> they encourage it. They view the inmates as hopelessly damaged. Useful only as test subjects.
I know you. You're always checking out your surroundings. You notice everything. Yes, it's true. I met with Fisk in his building, where I took note of the locations of his cameras, weapons, and accessible points of entry. He has a Telec 4566 security system, and I know the passwords. Well, you get a gold star. Draw me a map, and don't leave anything out. The information I have given you will get you inside the building, but you must still face Fisk himself. I'll distract him with cupcakes. This is why you will lose. You underestimate him. He has fought for his life since he was a boy. If you show even a moment's weakness, he will see it and kill you. The old killer instinct, huh? A lot of good it did you. I'm not sure if the cops can pin anything on you, but if not, take my advice and go back to Russia. Fisk doesn't seem as forgiving as I am. 